Hello everyone. So we are back um, for the second video of our speaking mock test. So I will once again provide comments of my students part two speaking. All questions are in the description box and what you are seeing are vocabulary related to each topic. Okay, let's begin. I don't think go nearby would be suitable in this situation. I would prefer if the student used actually um, go around. I, I can use taxis to go around the city. I think that would be um, that would be more more apt. We use public transport. We, we can we can reduce the usage of transport. Uh, we can so I think here the student should say we can reduce the usage of our personal or individual transport. Because some of some of some of road users use use uh, DSA or to the Fidia transport. And the biggest that it is only it can be harmful to our nature. Uh, I think because it requires to use public transport because because it's safe to our nature to keep our nature to be more clean and to prevent to, to prevent disaster. Okay, so I think this is a good good answers. Just more precise vocabulary that means okay for example again the student said at the end there to prevent more disaster i think the, the student should say to prevent pollution which is rampant in our country today so rampant is a good word huh? it's like berleluasa r-a-m-p-a-n-t it's a good word okay so let's continue to the next topic okay so today i want to so next up we have sports unite people so this is pretty long, but let's go into it. Talk about how sport can unite people from all over the world. So there's many, there's many ways to how to how does sport connect people and communities. So first point, my first point is is a good. Uh, confident our in people and the community. So I think here the student like immediately use the word confident, but here the students should say like you know, sports can unite people by making us confident or ma or making communities confident with each other, so they can trust each other. I think I think that is what the students is or wants to say. Because uh, when, when we, we are together, together we, we have a good, good our teamwork. teamwork. And we also can, uh, and we also share our identity uh, from different backgrounds. So that I think it, uh, so I think sport can unite people by, by, with our confidence. So that my next point is, which part is fairness for me? Uh, um, sport is famous for bringing people together. What is your opinion? Okay, so in my opinion, sport is famous for bringing people together. Is uh, to see because in sea games, because because uh, in my perspective, it can bring uh, such a good teamwork, and we we actually know how we actually know athlete from many from uh, various country and so that uh, we can and so that we can create more united work by seeing okay so the question is asking which sports bring people together so in this case i don't think sea games is the right answer it should be like football or badminton in, in the malaysian context so but even if you answer sea games i think it can be accepted uh but you must give like what is sea games about okay sea games bring people in the southeast asian region together if you want to go on a bigger scale be olympics okay 
So here I do feel that the student did not really answer the question, but I think it's still acceptable for English. I don't. I think if you make a mistake in Basem Layu, uh, Ujian, uh, Ujian Lisan, I think that would be a big problem. I think for English, they are looking at your grammar, vocabulary, and the way you talk. That's the the way you communicate. So I think uh, you might answer it wrong, but then if you're able to give some good vocab, some good structures, and some good ideas to support, I think it's totally fine. So today I will talk about my favorite Okay, so next up, we are going to favorite gadget. So this is a very popular question. Uh, so let's have a look. My favorite, my favorite gadget, gadget is phone. phone. The, the features, features that make it my favorite is the camera because the camera can because the camera can, because because the camera the camera can, can take my photo. I think this is, is the best, best gadget, gadget for. I think, I think the, the best, best gadget, gadget for me is phone because, because it's really helped me to do my assignment and to search something new. Yes, I think it's really necessary for everyone to have their own gadgets, uh, to help them to do their work and do their assignment and so on. Okay. So, you said your phone is your favorite gadget. What phone do you have? Okay, so so this student did answer very quickly. Um and okay, when you're talking about mobile phones, right, you, you can always talk, okay, like everyone has mobile phones, mobile phones has become a common gadget uh, in today's world. And there are many types of phone manufacturers from Oppo, Realme, uh, iPhones, Android phones, right? So you can you can have to try to give a little bit more. And then when you talk about the phone, how do you use it? Okay, you use it to play games, and then you can talk about the, the games that you play. You can say you, you use it to do your revision, uh, your homework. So when you do your revision, your phone is helpful for which subjects and for which subjects you would avoid using your phone. So I guess this is the, a better way for the student to answer, but it's still a good job. Okay, we're going to go to the next topic, a memorable holiday. The holiday, I, I went, went to Cameron Island. I, I, I did uh, them, I, I did, did there, is Okay, so that was a memorable, uh, memorable holiday. So the student actually did manage to answer, but there was a lot of, uh, like lots of pause, kan? Okay, but uh, so for in situation like this, I think you perlu ada sentence connectors. For example, you can add like, uh, okay, moving on, uh, I like to go to the tea plantation because I like to try the authentic T, uh, something like this. You need to have like uh, sentence connector so to menghubungkan setiap idea kamu. So, itu akan uh, jimatkan masa you. Uh, no, sorry. Bukan menjimatkan masa you. Itu akan menunjukkan like you bercakap while you are building points. So, I think that is one trick that you can use. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to the next topic which is uh, a festival. Festival I had celebrated recently. The festival, the festival it was uh, Hari Raya, Raya ID3. Uh, I, I celebrate it uh, with, with my, my friend, friend and family. family. Uh, at, at, at morning, morning I, I go 
to mosque to pray hari raya Haidilfitri. I enjoy myself because uh, I can exchange gift. I I can exchange gift, and then I can eat delicious food. I think why celebrating festival is important in Indonesia because uh, it can yeah, strengthen people. Okay, so I guess the word that is strengthen the relationship or strengthen the bond among the family members. Okay, so that is the end for our second uh, episode. So please watch the first episode. And I believe there'll be another two more episodes, making altogether four episodes for you to watch and see how the students did perform. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And have a good time and good luck for all your exams or whatever you're doing.